I'm Patricia Lynn, and this is the second in one ear check in. Hi, I'm Christina Liang, and I'm the first artist in this series, and we'll be working through it. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, so, uh, just to start us off, Christina, can you share with us like where we are in the process in terms of how long you've had the material, how long you've been working on? Yeah, that's a great place to start. I've actually had the material for about a week now and I'm starting the writing process. I'm actually halfway through the first draft. I was hoping to be a little further along and I've gone through several beginnings only to realize that the beginning that I had wasn't exactly working with my idea and also with the theatricality of what you guys are aiming for. Mm -hmm. So I decided to pare things down and simplify, which is always probably the best thing to do as a writer. And now I'm beginning with a new beginning and seeing that hopefully all the way through, just kind of finishing the draft and getting it out. Great. Um, so how do you like approaching a work when you get a prompt like this? Um, you know, it's always challenging to work in like constraints, certainly time constraints. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one of those writers, like I love a deadline, but I hate a deadline mm -hmm. at the same time. Um, what are ways you like to launch in? Yeah, you mentioned like images and that kind of thing. Is that, do you start there and then kind of just start hearing text? Or I think uh, it depends on the project. Yeah. With this particular project, I saw images. With others, it's kind of just a line that I feel inspired about. With this particular project, you guys gave me a quote from a poet, and I did a sort of A to D type situation. I researched the author, and then I looked up her other stories, and then from there, I was inspired to write my own work based on her whole body of work and not just a particular quote. Mm -hmm. And I think there's one section of the quote, particularly the word silence that really resonates with me. So I'm hoping to figure out an interesting way to incorporate that into the script, whether literally or textually, it's just something I need to figure out. Right, is that something you, you've played with before? Like, um, cause I think silence in particularly in theatricality can be so, fascinating but, but it's also so challenging to try to like write silence mm -hmm. um so i'm curious about is, is that something you've explored before so i'd be curious to hear like how do you write silence that's a good question i don't know i'll figure <laughs> it out when i get there because i'm not at the silence portion of my script but i think silence is can be loud in a way yeah. And that it would be interesting to exploit that sort of juxtapositioning of quiet and loud and sound. And also, it, um, audio silence is interesting, but it also, there's not, there could also be not a lot of silence in the face or internal silence. There's probably a lot more going on inside the character than they're willing to reveal. Right. I just feel that whether or not I like it, I have a general comic sensibility mm -hmm. in my everyday life too, <laughs> just very, very clumsy. But I think given my past and the things that we're, the zeitgeist we're living in, mm -hmm. it's just, it tends to skew a little dark. Yeah. I find grief very funny and interesting. Right. Well, yeah, grief is, yeah, and I think that's something we're all wrestling with in different ways, you know. Um, like I've, you know, read a lot of articles about how like a lot of what people are feeling with the pandemic is grief is mm -hmm. like, I've lost this way of life and I don't mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. how to continue forward. Um, so that's certainly something I think is all resonating with us in this current moment. But like just thinking of deadlines and that kind of things, what do you do when you get stuck? Like, do you have like a certain, I know as an artist chill trying to find your voice, you may not have certain methods, but I'm always curious as a writer as well, like, cause when I get stuck, I like rewrite the same two lines over and over again. Like that's my thing. And then I'm like, oh, you're stuck. You need to like write another line. Um, but have you found yourself falling into those habits? And when you do like, uh, how, what are ways you uh, creatively problem solve? If 
It depends on the kind of stuck that I am. So if I feel emotionally drained and tapped out and completely uninspired, I'll just have to step away for a day Mm -hmm. and come back to it. If it's the kind of stuff where my brain is going five million different directions and I want to disengage from the writing to check out a YouTube video because I'm like wading into something very dark that I'm just circling around, I'll just have to close out my internet browser and just focus. Yeah. And set 20 minutes for myself and go. Right. 